Hello Aries, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general, your general love reading for uh, May. We're going to take a look and see showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself and of course, vice versa as well. Guys, feel free to check out your, check out, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. Uh, it is timestamped. If you click in the description bar below, you'll see where it says start reading. Click on that. That will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. So this section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. As I always say, please just take what resonates and uh, leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick up, on your story stick around as sometimes you know sometimes there could be messages throughout that jump out and speak to you and of course just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go because ultimately we we create our reality so give me a moment to just finish laying these cards gonna take these in i'll be back So Aries, let's start your reading and of course take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. Okay, and of course if this isn't your story, if it doesn't resonate with yourself, then feel free to check out your other uh, monthly reading for your sign Aries, so it should be pinned in the Alright, so just looking at the past, we're just going to touch on the past. There's something around some form of that was taken i feel like it's coming from you just just because of the direction of the the knight of pentacles um it doesn't have to be but i feel like it very much was coming from your end so something around some form of action was taken some form of action was taken and you're seeing it as all right so this is an opportunity for me to create something new because there is this deep this is either an intuitive knowing about this person or this connection that you have with the pride precess of deep spiritual connection. Some would say soulmate, twin, oops, twin flame type of thing. Uh, when it comes to that high priestess, where with your, where with your person, which is quite interesting. This is a strong, okay. So there's a strong focus or was a strong focus on this, on you, on this connection, but they felt like, or there's a feeling of something coming to an end, a feeling like something coming to an end. Yeah, we've got the six of wands. So your focus is on creating something new, having victory and being successful when it comes to this relationship. I feel like, hence, this may be some form of action that was taken. But your person, not sure why, you got the magician card. Yeah, they got the magician card. I'm not sure why this person felt like there was something around an ending painful one too or uh, yeah but we'll get into that so we've got the magician so there was this level of belief that this person there's a focus on you in this connection a, a very much a strong focus with the king of wands with a level of belief that they can you know they've got all the tools or the resources to achieve whatever it is that they wanted to achieve uh, but they there's this idea of needing to overcome or come out on top of something that maybe came crashing down hence the feeling of something coming to an end very different to how you were showing up. So I'm not sure whether this person has misinterpreted something. Again, this is the past. Oh, God. Yeah. That's just the two of pentacles, the king of pentacles that talks about making a choice. Um, or, yeah, a choice around having something. But also focusing on what wasn't going right, what's not going right. Again, it's around this ending that this feeling or that this person feels that they was having so somewhere around an ending i'm not sure why they're coming up as you know that and you're coming up as that you'll kind of get that if this is resonating that will make sense to you uh just bringing it to where it is at the moment there's judgment here and i feel like it's coming from definitely coming from this person because how you're showing up aries is the king of pentacles so it seems like there's been some form of 
for a lot of you, this is career related. Seems like you've put in work. When we're talking about the King of Pentacles, we're talking about, you know, receiving the blessings or the, the harvest is coming in uh, due to the work that's being put in. So there's something around you having had put in work prior and now you're kind of reaping the rewards of all your hard work. Yes, you're kind of focusing on this person. There's still very much a focus and a, a drive towards this person. But we've got that Eight of Pentacles, which talks about, and this is in your challenge, which talks about focusing on something um, and, and working on that. So there's something that you're focusing on and working on. But because this is in your challenge position, it's getting in the way. Not to say that you should stop, but it kind of, this is what's, Maybe making your focus or not allowing you to do certain things. I'm going to pull on that. But that's definitely your work is in the way. Not to say you should be taking your focus off your work. No one's saying that at all. It could just be a timing thing at the moment where you need to focus on that. But that's showing up in your challenge uh, position. Look, the King of Wands, the Knight of Wands. Yeah. Very much a strong focus on this person. There isn't a drive, a, 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 a lot of passion, a lot of desire that you have. But we've got the Queen of Wands. So there's a level of boundaries or guardedness that you do have to some degree. It's like, you know, come closer, but not too close. That type of thing. But not too close. Yeah, it's something that you love. Whatever it is, this work that you're focusing on and really put in is something that you you know you you love with the ace of pent with the ace of cups. There, your person is showing up as it seems to be experiencing something, which I, I feel is where this judgment is coming from as well. This it seems to be they're showing up as the higher friend. So this talks about high knowledge, uh, wisdom. Sometimes this is high commitment as well, but this is high knowledge and wisdom through experience through um, a study of that type of thing. This person has some form of knowledge or wisdom around something. Maybe it could be where you're at. Maybe they've experienced where you're at. So they recognize certain things that you could be engaging in, but there's something around them having, maybe they're just more, it could be it. That could be more a uh, mature type of person for some of you. But their focus is on transformation. Their focus is on transformation. Letting things be. Just letting things be. But we'll get into that Eight of Cups in a minute. The focus and the thinking around transformation, that death card there. King of Swords, yeah, very much so. Being very strategic around that as well. Waiting for a solution, waiting for an idea. Justice. Mm. I feel like usually when I kind of have these types of readings, it doesn't make sense to me, but I know it makes sense to you guys. So this person is focusing on transformation. They're being very conscious of that as well. Very uh, thoughtful or um, strategic. Wanting a solution or an idea has already come about, which they're hoping or which they're thinking will bring about some form of in, some form of justice some form of justice. There's something that this person doesn't want to let go of. They're finding it quite difficult to let go of. It's like, let it be. It's like, this doesn't need to be addressed at this time. Maybe this person has been trying to communicate with you about something. Maybe about this higher knowledge or wisdom that they might have. Maybe it might be due to being more experienced in maybe the field that you're working in. That could be it. But it's like, they just won't let it be. That's in their challenge. Not being able to walk away from something. Feeling of Things being left undone. Yeah, uh, it's like they'd be better off doing that. Why? Let's let's pull on that. Let's get a. Oh God, we've got the eight of cups again. Got the ten. Okay. And we've got the eight. Okay. Yeah, if they just let it be and move towards that ninth cup. So when we're talking about the ninth cup, the ninth cup represents emotional happiness. So after the eighth of eights of cups, once you've walked away from whatever it is, you enter towards that, you, you're heading towards that ninth cup, which is emotional happiness. 
So this is in their challenge, like I said, this person with the Ten of Pentacles, fulfillment on a tangible level, uh, exclusive relationship, home, uh, family, marriage, that type of thing. But, you know, fulfillment on a tangible level and putting in the work as well. It's, but, but again, it's this not letting something be, just let it be. They're not able to let something just be because they do have a, 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 an emotional connection with you and they still want to move forward. But it's like, they got they got to go through some transformation around just letting something be. There's something that they're holding on to, Aries. What is that? What is that? They might be they might have been badgering you about it as well, trying to. I don't know something. That is. Are you gonna have time though? We've got that pentacle again. Is that? doing something different you do want to give to this I like one second confusion three cups yes three of pentacles you're wanting to give to this you do want to do something different take a new route to you know go down a new path there is confusion there but again you're still wanting to come together with this person so you're wanting to communicate. It's going to have you have this feeling of wanting to communicate with this person. However, I'm going to pull on this these this this spread a bit more in terms of just then, because your work situation is it is what it is. You know, don't take your eye off the ball in terms of that. It's what this person is holding on to. They're holding on to something, and it's they're not letting it go. And it's around this judgment or them feeling like they have more experience or being knowledgeable it's the right thing to do yeah not wanting to pay attention keeping it keeping them stuck and then the emperor and being adamant about it as well being adamant about it as well the silver line in this is is the uh, emotional connection and the moving forward positively moving forward but Mm, and Bart just erases everything I just said, isn't it? However, yeah, so take this as it resonates, guys. Usually we move into part two of the reading and then, you know, see where this moves to next. I will be implementing that next two weeks, guys. Just need to make a few tweaks to the website. There's a few technical issues at the moment, so just bear with me with that. Um, however, hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. Hopefully it's made sense. Make, you know, like, comment. Just helps with the algorithm. Um other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day, and I shall see you next week.